Fish is a very perishable product. Spoilage occurs as soon as the fish dies and is mainly caused by the action of enzymes and bacteria. Enzymes are present in the guts of living fish and help to convert the food the fish eats into tissue and energy. When the fish dies, these enzymes carry on working and break down the flesh itself. Temperature control is vital in slowing down the spoilage processes. The warmer the fish is, the more quickly the bacteria and enzymes act to produce unpleasant smells and bitter tastes. This table indicates just how fast fish can go off. Seafood quality assessment schemes are used by buyers at all stages in the seafood chain to assess the quality of the seafood and its remaining shelf life. While there are a number of ways of assessing quality using chemical and electrochemical means, we will only look at sensory assessment schemes in this program. That is, those objective assessment methods that rely on eyes, nose and taste buds. There are three schemes, the EU-EAB, the QIM or Quality Index Method and the TORI system. The EU-EAB scheme is by law something that all fish markets should do. When the fish comes onto the port market, it should be assessed by the selling agent or fisheries inspector, who will grade it either E, A or B. It does not give you any information on remaining shelf life, and it does rely on appearance, so for our purposes it is not really suitable. Both TORI and QIM rely on the same indicators of appearance, odour and texture of the flesh. What differs between the two schemes is how these indicators are scored and correlated with remaining shelf life. Unlike QIM, TORI has a scheme for cooked fish while QIM covers a wider range of species. The TORI scheme groups all of these indicators into bands, ranging from 10, the freshest possible fish, down to zero, which is so poor that no example is available. QIM approaches the scoring in a very different way. Each indicator is given a score from zero, which is very good, to two, or occasionally three, which is very poor. These scores are all added up to provide a QIM score. The lower the score, the higher the quality of the fish and the longer the shelf life. There is more detail on this in the TORI and QIM programs. It is possible to carry out a TORI and QIM score on the same fish at the same time. So let's look at a fish in detail. This cod has skin that is bright with typical cod coloration and glossy transparent slime. Texture that is firm and still elastic with muscle blocks still showing. Eyes that are slightly cloudy or opalescent. They are still convex or bulging and black. The gills of this fish are bright red with clear mucus and a fresh seaweedy odour. The flesh appears to be translucent and not yet waxy. The blood appears to be bright red. And so this cod has a Torrey score of 9 and a total QIM of 3. So, there you have the basic principles of using both Torrey and QIM assessment schemes on raw whole fish. Remember, it's not about whether or not you like seafood or even a particular fish. These schemes require you to be objective and to search for the odours, flavours and appearance that give clues to the quality and remaining shelf life of the fish. With proper training and experience, it is possible to accurately and consistently assess the quality of fish, something that is important to all of us that make a living from seafood.